the pond, Syracuse University Abroad is working with the CDC to determine the best course of action to keep students abroad safe. Citrus TV's London correspondent Rob Flax joins us tonight. And Rob, what's the latest news from SU and what's the feeling among students right now? Well, the Syracuse London program is staying open. That's a message from administrators today. They sent an email earlier today to students saying that programming would be continuing as regularly scheduled with students set to return to classes after the spring break has been over on March 16th. Now, this comes as a huge sigh of relief to the program here. People have been wondering what the longevity, what the future of Syracuse London would look like as soon as we found out that Florence was canceled. Now, it's very important to remember that the administration has left room open to amend the status, saying that if the cases of coronavirus spike exponentially, that they will have no choice but to uh, issue an update. But they really wanted to have people know what the status was, and that status is that classes will remain open. Now, um, while most students will be returning for spring break, I did speak to a few students who, because of underlying health issues, decided that returning to London would be too much of a risk. Those students will be taking remote classes from either home or Syracuse main campus. While those are a, that's just a small minority of students, the most message here today is students will be returning after spring break to Syracuse London campus. And as SU London prepares for its spring break next week, what have campus officials told students who still want to travel? Well guys, in terms of travel, the Syracuse administration is really telling students to stay careful, stay updated on those alerts from the CDC, from the World Health Organization, and from the NHS here in the United Kingdom. The big thing for students is the administration is saying that they should not, under any circumstances, travel to Italy, which at the moment has over 3,000 cases of coronavirus. The administration is saying that any students that do choose to travel to Italy and are caught up in either the quarantine or self-isolation, the administration will not be footing the bill for any consequences of students who disobey this policy. As for any other countries, the uh, administration is saying students can use their best judgment and personally judge what level of risk they're capable of taking. But again, the main message is there will be a campus for those students to return to after the spring break is over. Our Rob Flax from London. Thank you, Rob. And to clarify, SU has prohibited travel to any country that has a level two or higher advisory from the CDC, which includes Italy. Any students who don't follow this guidance will be on their own and have to follow local health guidelines. They also will not be able to return to any Syracuse University campuses. Students who wish to leave their programs can continue classes online or here in Syracuse without penalty. You can follow along our London correspondent Rob Flax and Madrid correspondent Greg Bradbury on Twitter for the latest status updates on SU Abroad programs and coronavirus in Europe. And back in